Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. To make this textured sweater you will need a weight 4 yarn and a 5mm crochet hook. In this tutorial I make a size small. For all other sizes check out my blog crochetwithcarry.com. So starting off with our back panel we're going to chain 11. Next single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into each chain to the end. At the end of the row chain one and then turn your work and now working into the back loop of every stitch place one single crochet. So we're going to repeat this row until you have a total of 75 rows completed. Now we're going to work double crochets all the way across. So begin by chaining three. This counts as our first double crochet and then make a further 74 double crochets. So once you have your 75 double crochets completed, we're going to chain two. This will count as our first half double crochet. So around the next double crochet, we're going to place one front post double crochet. Then place another front post double crochet around the next stitch. Next we're going to place one back post double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So next you're going to make three front post double crochets. And then you're going to make three back post double crochets. So you're going to repeat that all the way across. You're going to alternate between three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets. So here we are at the end of the row. So we're going to finish off by placing one front post double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then finally place one half double crochet on top of this chain three. So that row sets our pattern, so we're just going to repeat it again. We're going to chain two, this counts as our first half double crochet. 
Then we're going to make two front post double crochets. Then three back post double crochets. and then three front post double crochets. So repeat that all the way across, alternating between three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets. Then when you reach the end, you're going to finish your row with two front post double crochets, and then you're going to half double crochet on top of that chain two. So repeat that row over and over again until your entire sweater measures about 21 inches. If you want your sweater longer, add more rows here. So once you're happy with the length of your sweater, you're going to fasten off. So you're going to repeat this process over again for your front panel, but this time for the front panel, you're going to do four rows less. So once your front panel is completed, you should have four rows less than your back panel. So now we're going to count in 21 stitches and mark that 21st stitch with a stitch marker. We're going to begin by chaining two. This counts as our first half double crochet. And then we're going to front post double crochet into the next two stitches. Next, make three back post double crochets. And then three front post double crochets. And repeat that, alternating between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets until you reach towards the end of your stitch marker. So here we are towards the end. I've just made three back post double crochets. So next we're going to make two front post double crochets. And then into the last stitch, this is the stitch with our stitch marker, we're going to place one half double crochet. Next, chain two, and then turn your work. Make two front post double crochets. Then three back post double crochets. And then make three front post double crochets. So you're going to alternate between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all the way across. When you reach the end of the row, you're going to finish off with two front post double crochets and then place one half double crochet into the chain two. So repeat this row for a further two more times 
and then we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So now we're going to count 21 stitches in from the other side and we're going to attach our yarn to that 21st stitch. So once your yarn is attached, insert your hook and pull your yarn through and then we're going to chain two. Then front post double crochet around the next two stitches. Then make three back post double crochets. And then three front post double crochets. So alternate between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row. We're going to finish the row with two front post double crochets. And then we're going to place a half double crochet on top of our chain two. So we're going to repeat this row a further three more times just like you did on the other side and then we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail. So our front panel should look like this. So next we're going to move on to our sleeves. For the sleeves the ribbing is the exact same as our front and back panel. We're going to chain up 11 and then single crochet into the second chain from the hook. We're going to do 39 rows of back loop single crochet. Now we're going to make 39 double crochet across the long edge of our ribbing. So we're going to chain up three. This counts as our first double crochet. So make a further 38 double crochet. So next we're going to chain two and then turn our work. Then make two front post double crochets. And then three back post double crochets. and then three front post double crochets. So alternate between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row. We're going to make two front post double crochets. and then half double crochet on top of that chain three. So now we're going to start increasing. So chain two and then turn your work. And into that same stitch as your chain two, place one double crochet. Then 
then make two front post double crochet three back post double crochet And then alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet all the way across. So here we are at the end, we're going to make two front post double crochets. And then on top of this chain two, we're going to place one double crochet and into that same stitch place one half double crochet. At the end of the row chain two and then turn your work and into that same stitch as your chain two place one double crochet. Then make three front post double crochets. And then three back post double crochets. So alternate between three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets all the way across. So here we are at the end of the row, so we're going to finish off by making three front post double crochets. And then on top of this chain two, we're going to place one double crochet and one half double crochet. Next, chain two and then turn your work. And into that same stitch as your chain two, place one double crochet. Then we're going to make one back post double crochet. Then three front post double crochet. Then three back post double crochet. So alternate between three front post double crochet and three back post double crochet all the way across. So here we are at the end, we're going to make three front post double crochet. Then 
then back post double crochet into the next stitch then place one double crochet into this last chain two and into that same stitch place one half double crochet For the next row, chain 2 and then turn your work into that same stitch as your chain 2, place 1 double crochet. Then make 2 back post double crochets. Then make three front post double crochets. And then three back post double crochets. Alternate between three front post double crochets and three back post double crochets all the way across. So here we are at the end, so make three front post double crochets. And then make two back post double crochets. On top of this chain two, we're going to place one double crochet and then into that same stitch, one half double crochet. For the next row, chain two and then turn your work. Into that same stitch, place one double crochet Then make three back post double crochets. Then make three front post double crochets and then alternate between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all the way across. At the end of the row, we're going to make three back post double crochets. Then place one double crochet on top of this chain two and into that same stitch place one half double crochet. So now we're going to stop increasing so our next row is chain two, turn your work. Then we're going to make one front post double crochet around the next stitch.
Then we're going to make three back post double crochets. And then three front post double crochets. So alternate between three back post double crochets and three front post double crochets all the way across. So here we are at the end, we're going to finish the row with three back post double crochets. And then front post double crochet around the next stitch. And then place one half double crochet on top of your chain two. So you're going to repeat this row over and over again until your entire sleeve measures 17 inches. So your next row is going to be chain two. Turn your work, make one front post double crochet and then three back post double crochet and then three front post double crochet so you're going to alternate between three back post double crochet and three front post double crochet all the way across. So you're going to end the row by making one front post double crochet and then half double crochet on top of your chain two. So repeat this row over and over again until your entire sleeve measures 17 inches. So at this stage your sleeve should look like this so we're going to fasten off and we're going to leave a long tail and then go ahead and make your second sleeve in the exact same way. So next you're going to lay your front panel on top of your back panel and with your yarn needle and some yarn we're going to sew across the shoulders, so right here and right there. So now you're going to lay your entire piece out flat with the wrong side facing up and then you're going to grab your sleeve and you're going to measure the center stitch with a stitch marker and then line that stitch marker up with your shoulder seam so this is your shoulder seam right there connect that stitch marker there and then with your yarn needle sew across and then repeat on the other side with your other sleeve and then once you have that done, we're going to fold our sweater over and we're going to sew the edges of our sleeves. So right down all the way here and then down the sides of our sweater. And we're going to repeat that on the other side. So now we're going to turn our sweater the right side out and we're going to single crochet all the way around our neckline. So we're going to attach our yarn to the side of our neckline. I usually attach mine to the shoulder seam area just right here at the edge. So attach your yarn there
then we're going to insert our hook pull that yarn through and then chain one and then we're going to single crochet all the way around our neckline So once you've single crocheted all the way around your entire neckline, we're going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet that we made. Next, we're going to chain eight. Then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then single crochet into the next six chains. So next we're going to slip stitch into the next two single crochet that's on our neckline. Then we're going to turn our work and we're going to skip over those two slip stitches and then working into the back loop of the next seven single crochets make one single crochet. So make one single crochet into the back loop of the next seven single crochet. Then chain one, turn your work and then working into the back loop of the next seven single crochet, make one single crochet. So make one single crochet into the back loop of the next seven single crochet. Then make a slip stitch into each of the next two single crochet on the neckline. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around your neckline. You're going to turn, skip those two slip stitches, 
Then you're going to work into the back loop of the next seven single crochet by placing one single crochet into each stitch. Then at the end chain one and then sing seven single crochet into the back loop only and then slip stitch into the two single crochets on your neckline. So repeat that all the way around your neckline. So once you've gone all the way around your neckline we're going to fasten off and leave a long tail and then with your needle we're going to sew these two ends together. And that's it, that's your sweater completed. If you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget the free written pattern is on my blog crochetwithcarry.com. Until next time, take care.